Welcome back to uh, part two of this series about Tkinter. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start building your uh, app. Um, the end result will be something like this. And so far, this is what we get. <laughs> so, still have a lot to do. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it, in, keep it easy for you to follow along, so let's get to it. Um, this is where we left uh, part one, and um, as it is, you've just seen, there's just a, a window with uh, the title Flight Scraper. So we're going to need to build three frames, and I prepared a wonderful presentation. And we're going to build three frames, the header, the center, and the bottom. And uh, <clears throat> inside each frame, we're going to put some stuff like labels, um, a label here for the header, uh, some buttons. Um, it's, gonna, it's going to get filled with some other frames. And I'm showing you this just for you to keep a... a general view of where we're going with it and we're also going to add these buttons here so let's get to it we're going to start with the three frames and I'm going to copy and paste because I think you guys don't want to watch me type and um, yeah so this is a frame and the way I'm doing it, there's some different ways for you guys to do it, but the way I'm doing it is creating some variables and um, associating them with the widget that I want. So this is a frame and it belongs to the window we just created, this one. Uh, in fact, this is the same as this. So this is the master. Um, this is the master in which the frame is placed. It's going to be placed, and um, yeah, that's the same for for the rest of the frames. Right now, this is what we get. Does it do anything? Well, no. Why? Because we need to tell Tkinter where these frames are going to be placed, and uh, we do it using different uh, command. So I'm going to use the grid and there's some other stuff that you can use. You can use pack or you can just place it in a specific um, place in the screen, so to speak, uh, with um, X and Y coordinates. The reason why I don't like doing it like that is because the screen resolution may change from user to user and then you it gets kind of messy so the grid is the simplest way to do, to do it and um, these are the things that you need to specify so I'm going to place this variable so this frame I'm gonna be placing it in the grid in the row 0 column 0 the center frame is going to go below that, so it's the first row, column 0. And the bottom one on the second row, column 0. So we are just replicating this thing, header, center, bottom. Ah. <laughs> so um, this should place something in our, in our, pro in our interface. I'm going to add the title here to the header, so the way to do it is with a label. And let me copy this real quick, here. So this is going to be the, the header, the text itself, and it's a label. Its master is the frame header, so this label is going to correspond to the frame header and its text is flight scraper tool this is our adding here is the background color and the no background oh yeah and this is the foreground color 
It's it, not to be mis uh, not to be confused with uh, font color. And we're gonna set this one to uh, height, the width, and the font. You guys can check the links I put in the description. You can choose a whole different things to to customize it. Um, let's see what we have. Um, we need to place the header too. So like we did here, we need to place the header somewhere. And we can do it like this. Okay, so in case you're wondering how can we put it in the zero zero again? That's because uh, is this right? Yeah. So that's because the header is inside another frame, the frame header. So when we specify the row and column for the grid, it, we are telling it the grid inside the frame header. Okay, so it, it's only going to be one spot there for the for the label, and that's where we're going to put it. So let's see what we have, and I'm going to run this. All right, we start to see something. We still don't see anything about the center and the bottom frames. That's because um, there's nothing there yet. However, we can see a small space here, um, but still, no, nothing there. Okay, and you guys can mess around with this. Uh, let's say red. This is gonna hurt the eyes. Oh, <laughs> so you see, it's kind of easy to test whatever suits you best. Change it back. And uh, okay, so we have something and uh, we're gonna keep adding more stuff so it's important for us to keep track of where the frames and the labels are positioned because um, once we have a lot more widgets it can get really uh, messy <laughs> so um, let's see what we can add here okay I told you about the two frames that we're going to add here and I'm gonna place two frames inside the center frame and uh, you guys should be able to do it already with what I showed and um, okay so there's some new stuff here which is this argument here and uh, you can test other options. I chose this one. Um, not sure I remember. Mm, yeah. Frame. So this is a, a cool trick. If you guys are using Spider, if you uh, hold Control key and you um, click whatever is highlighting. Uh, it gives you contextual help, so in this case I'm looking at the function itself to see if we have different options uh, relief well, there's some resources I can check okay I did search this already um, mm -mm. This website is quite good. I've been here a lot of times. I remember the logo. Uh, raised. Let's try raised. Um, let's close this. Sometimes it's more helpful, and you have the options right there, and you can change it from there. So, raised. And in order to test this, we're missing something, which is the grid. And here we go. Where is it? Actually, I'm going to use another option. I'm going to use pack with this one. And this is also good because um, it lets you use both grid or pack, and um, it works good. One is different from the other. There's different options there. You can uh, customize the, the fill, the filling of the space, um, also other stuff. But the way pack works is different. The way pack works is um, the the order 
where they are placed is important. So if you're going to place number one on top, you're going to, ha you're going to have to pack it first. And then you pack number two and it's going directly on top. Uh, on um, Sorry. And then you pack number two and it's going to directly below number one. Okay? Depending on the different things you put here, it's going to get a uh, different aspect. So let's just show it. And over here, as we see, we, we can still see the difference between the sunken and raised because um, simply there is nothing to see there yet. That's what we're going to do on the next video. Um, I'll be showing you how to start filling the interface with some buttons and... Well, actually, in the next video I think we're going to just add some labels for the, for the entries and the CDs from, to, uh, departure date and return date. So we're going to add that here and it's going to be visible, the difference between the sunken and raised. I want to keep the video short. Uh, I think it's better for... Um, uh, to keep things simple and nice going so I'd like to know your feedback in the comments if this is useful or not if the short videos are better than, than longer ones any question about the code I'm happy to try and help and uh, yeah don't forget to hit the like button if you want to receive my videos in your inbox do subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoyed check the links below and see you in the next part thanks